Sigo cruzando ríos, andando selvas, amando el sol Cada día sigo sacando espinas de lo profundo del corazón En la noche sigo encendiendo sueños para limpiar con el humo sagrado cada recuerdo Cuando es que tu nombre en la arena blanca con fondo azul Cuando mire el cielo en la forma cruel de una nube gris Aparezcas tú una tarde subo a una alta loma Mira el pasado, sabrás que no te he olvidado Yo te llevo dentro hasta el carraí Argentina has recently joined a small group of Latin American countries where abortion has been decriminalized, a historical fact both for the southern country and for the American continent. Argentina is now the sixth country in Latin America to decriminalize abortion. January 14th marked a milestone in the feminist struggle in Latin America when President Alberto Fernandez promulgated Law 27.610 for legal abortion in the Casa Rosada, the presidential headquarters. Immediately afterwards, the regulations came into effect. Despite the progress, Law 27.610 gives health personnel the right to decline performing an abortion, and under such circumstances, the individual should be directed to another center. In Latin America, the termination of pregnancy is currently legal in Cuba, Uruguay, Puerto Rico, Guyana, and French Guyana, as well as in the Mexican state of Oaxaca and Mexico City. Now, the southern country joins this list, being the largest in the continent to allow this practice. In contrast, the voluntary interruption of pregnancy is prohibited without exception in El Salvador, Honduras, Nicaragua, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti. In fact, El Salvador's abortion law is one of the most restrictive in the world. Currently, 16 women are in prison, accused of murder, following abortions and in some cases miscarriages. The law establishes penalties of two to eight years in prison for anyone who causes, consents to, or practices an interruption of pregnancy. In the rest of Latin America, all the states incorporate causes to a greater or lesser extent to the interruption of pregnancy. Paraguay, Venezuela, Guatemala, Peru, and Costa Rica only permit abortion in the event that the life or health of the pregnant woman is in danger. Some countries, such as Chile, Colombia, and Brazil, the variables of rape and unfeasibility of the fetus are included in their criminal codes. Bolivia permits abortion when pregnancy is the result of incest. In Ecuador, there are three circumstances in which abortion is permitted, when the life or health of the woman is threatened, unfeasibility of the fetus, and rape of a woman with a mental disability. In Mexico, each state has its own legislation on abortion, thus restrictions vary across the country. However, only in Mexico City and Oaxaca, unconditional abortion is allowed during the first 12 weeks of gestation. The regulations in Argentina have already set precedents at the regional level. On January 13th of this year, the Chilean Congress began to debate a bill that also contemplates the decriminalization of abortion until week 14. Several members of Congress came with green t-shirts shouting, abortion yes, abortion no, the decision is mine, inspired by the recent legalization of the neighboring country. Further fueling the abortion debate early this year, 111 Chilean women who had taken part in the family planning program provided by the state became pregnant after using a defective contraceptive pill. One day, my medical center called me to let me know there were some batches in poor condition, but my pills did not correspond to those boxes, so I was calm. 
said Stephanie Cavieres, a 28-year-old woman who has been affected by the situation. In Chile, there is a rigorous birth control plan that dates back to 1967, when the Family Planning and Responsible Parenthood program was established. For this reason, thousands of women, especially those with limited resources, apply for state-covered birth control pills. In Mexico, in 2020, citizen support for the decriminalization of abortion increased from 29% to 48% in a few months, according to a survey published by the media El Financiero and Nación 321. The approval of the regulations in Argentina and its implementation is the result of decades of struggle, especially by the National Campaign for the Rights to Legal, Safe and Free Abortion, a diverse and federal feminist organization that made the fight for the legal, safe and free abortion one of its maxims. The Green Tide, La Marea Verde mobilization, was key in the approval of the new law. After the Argentine Senate voted against legalized abortion in 2018, the green scarf became the symbol for the campaign for legal, safe, and free abortion, which is worn as a bandana or around the wrist. The movement grew nationally and spread rapidly to other Latin American countries, where the color green came to symbolize the broader struggle for women's rights. Along with their motto, sex education to decide, contraceptives to not abort, legal abortion to not die, Latin American feminists say once again that the green tide will not stop until all pregnant people have autonomy over their own bodies.